in Charlotte, North Carolina, I have amazing access to local nurseries. Um, that's one of the reasons I started this channel was because there were so many amazing shops that I wanted to share with the plant community. So many amazing nurseries and greenhouses, but I really also enjoy traveling to nearby cities to see what they have as far as plant stores and do some plant shopping there as well. So I visited Raleigh, Durham. I've been there before to do some shopping and it never disappoints. I always love to check out the farmer's market, which I did a video for that. But I also visited Gunter's Greenhouse and Big Bloomers, which I'll be sharing in this episode. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley, and as you can see, I am a crazy plant person. I'm proud here in my plant room with over 200 tropical plants. So if that brings a smile to your face, consider subscribing. I film a lot of plant shopping videos, plant tour videos, all that kind of good planty, good vibe content. And we also have an amazing plant community on Instagram that we'd love for you to be part of. I do giveaways on there from time to time. So we have, like I said, a great community. Now for many of us, plant shopping, plant care, that's a really great way for us to wind down at the end of the day. I know it is for me. And it's no secret that I struggle with sleep. It's something I've mentioned on this channel many times before. And I recently made some changes that have helped a lot. Now, one of the big changes I've made is in thanks to our partner for this episode, Birch Living. Birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. Their non-toxic mattresses are made right here in America and are crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. Birch Lux takes the comfort, luxury, and safety of the original Birch mattress to the next level, crafted with eight different layers of organic cashmere, organic wool, organic cotton, and 100% natural latex. Now it's specifically created with breathability, cooling, and support in mind, and offers increased airflow and targeted zoned lumbar support. It was really important for me to choose a birch mattress that is made with organic and natural materials because my husband and I, we get really hot when we sleep and the organic materials keep us cool and regulates our body temperature. Now, in addition to being a better mattress for me and my husband, birch is also committed to being better for the planet. And you all know that I absolutely love that. Now I ordered the Birch Lux mattress, a premium upgrade to their original well-loved Birch natural mattress. Now we've had our Birch mattress for a few months and we absolutely love it. Now I also received the Birch mattress topper and it's a plush organic topper for my mattress and it just makes the bed even more comfortable and like I'm just laying on a pillow when I go to sleep. What I like most is how well I sleep and how quickly I fall asleep with sleep being a problem for me. That's absolutely fabulous. And it's also very comfortable. I sleep well through the night and I don't have all the aches and pains that I used to have. I absolutely love that each birch mattress comes with two of their eco rest pillows. They're made from recycled plastic bottles and they're breathable and better for the environment. With your birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. If you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. The best part of all of this is that Birch delivers your mattress right to your door for free within the US. It comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up yourself. I love my Birch Lux mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch. You can click the link below or go to birchliving.com slash plantlife to get $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. All right, so I'm so excited to share plant shopping at these two amazing locations. Uh, sit back, relax, enjoy, and my plant haul is at the end of the episode. have arrived and as you can see there is a lot happening in this greenhouse this is where they keep all of their like tropical house plants rare house plants they also have a lot of outdoor plants 
Um, but I'm always ridiculously impressed with the plants that I find here. So I'm gonna go through and keep my fingers crossed, see if I can find some plants. I already am spotting a few that would be potential purchases for today. Um, I absolutely love coming here. So first up are some string of turtles. They're $14.99 in four inch pots. I see some carii over there. They are $9.99. There's all sorts of plants in these hanging baskets. There's heart leaf um, philodendron here. They have alocasia black velvet. These eight inch hanging black, um, baskets of alocasia black velvet are $19.99. That's a great price. Um, compared to what I've seen in Charlotte and look this one's even flowering <laughs> the one that we have at home flowers a lot as well Ooh, this one says philodendron brandy 35 that doesn't look quite like a brantianum to me Ooh, albosingoniums $50 this is such a fast-growing terrific plant I would 10 out of 10 recommend if you're thinking about this plant and you're on the fence because it's kind of pricey and you're not sure, I would say go for it. It's very fast growing, so you could be able to propagate it quickly. Um, and it's easy. It doesn't require much care. Look at this one. <laughs> and if you can find one that's already, you know, has multiple growth points on there, you could just go ahead and propagate it off the bat and then put multiple ones in a pot or resell it. So you can find these. Um, to where they're not so expensive like they were over a hundred Not too long ago, and now I am finding them for like this one's fifty dollars. So Yeah, and it's so beautiful. Look at these leaves um, They're just stunning and each leaf that comes out seems to be more beautiful than the last and The stems are kind of pinky red as well Which is nice. It kind of reminds me of candy cane a little bit then over here, some Hoya linearis. This one is $19.99 for these little plugs. Then Hoya curtisii, $15.99. I struggle with Hoya curtisii. I can never seem to get it quite right. Um, Hoya linearis, very easy. Here's a Hoya, Prince, Hoya crimson princess. Maybe. Let me double check that. Nope, it's Hoya ac acuta varig variegated. I've learned my lesson to double check with Hoyas. That's really nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Over there looks like a Hoya Pachiclata. These are $34.99 and it says Wyetii variegated slash Kentiana tricolor. Yes, these are Hoya Pachiclata. They are $15. And then these also look like they would be the, well, these are Hoya Kentiana Tricolor. Isn't that beautiful? And these leaves can turn so, so pink, um, given enough light. Then I see some Hoya Obavada. Splash. I'm in love with the shape of these leaves. I do have one of these and I love it. The leaves can get really dark or light, depending how much light you give them. These are very lime green compared to mine right now, but I just love how round the leaves are. That's so unique. This one really is like a perfect circle. Then we have Hoya macrophylla, absolutely lovely. The macrophylla are $19.99. Then over here are some more Hoyas. Some Hoya carry. these are Hoya Caria Splash. $35. Look at all the trails. Oh my gosh, there's even peduncles on them. Look at the little peduncles. Ooh, here's some Hoya Carii where the inside is variegated, and these are $35 as well. That's interesting. Maybe I'll get one of those. I like that. This is this one is Hoya Australis Circle Leaf, 19.99. Has kind of a fuzzy, a fuzzy leaf. I do like the shape. What is this one? Hoya Macrophylla Pot of Gold. Okay, this one's definitely coming home with me. Forty dollars. <gasps> Ooh, 
Now, most Hoya macrophylla, as we saw over there, have variegation on the outside of the leaves. Pot of gold is reverse, where the variegation's on the inside. And I do really like macrophyllas because mine has done really well. All right, this is definitely gonna be an over budget but worth it video. <laughs> These are some of the really fun ones to film because I just kind of let myself get whatever. Variegated Hoya Carii. And these are $30. Gosh, these were so expensive a couple years ago. I mean, so crazy expensive. The, the prices here are always uh, good compared to what I see sometimes in Charlotte. $25 for nice Hoya Carii. Just your regular green ones. I just came back outside because now that I'm starting to find ones I like, for example, little teaser, I'm getting this pot of gold and I'll get some other ones. Um, but this is the last one of these. So I'm just gonna get a little cart and <laughs> wheel my little cart around with me. Here's some Philodendron giganteum. This is a wonderful plant. The leaves become absolutely massive. I mean, hence its name, giganteum. And these are $14.99. I do have a uh, variety of these called blizzard. So the leaves have some variegation and it's a fabulous plant. Thrives on neglect. Those are the ones we like. Here's a philodendron, some philodendron birkins. You can find those all around in Charlotte. Let's see how much they are here. $14.99. Then here's some philodendron atoms, $6.99. <laughs> These little guys are so cute with their crinkly leaves. This really caught my eye. It has a philodendron ring of fire here on the left. Great plant. And then it also has a pink princess mixed in so you get two plants and they're it's $2.99 for both of those plants then over here this looks like some type of Hoya Hoya Archboldiana this is 40 those are interesting leaf shape this is a wonderful Hoya I do have one of these this is a Callistophylla this one is 35 gosh look at there's so many growth points in there um, you could really propagate it large Alocasia Maharani, they are 19. Then we have some Philodendron Silver Sword. These are $25. I have been seeing some other YouTubers finding huge Philodendron Silver Swords at big box shops, so keep your eye out. This whale fin is $49.99, and look at all of those plants in there. There's four plants. Here is a beautiful Alocasia Friday. Just look at those velvety leaves. I've given this plant a try a few times and I did get spider mites every time. And I don't get spider mites on every Alocasia, but I seem to struggle with, with spider mites on Friday. But it's worth it, you know, some insecticidal soap, just keeping up with, uh, keeping them clean once a month, just staying on top of it and you can have a beautiful Friday. Here's some Raphidivora Rapidophora decursiva, um, also known as dragon tail. And these are 39, but so are these. They have massive goldie eye here. These philodendron goldie eye are beautiful, $29.99. These and Therium fingers are $24.99. And let me tell you, I thought I killed mine. And fortunately I have, my nursery pots are clear. And I could see that the roots still looked okay. And even though all the leaves had died off, the leaves came back. So this is a really sturdy plant.
have one variegated whale fin and it is $39.99. Lots of Maharani, $14.99. Um, Loads of Alocasia Stingray, $19.99. Such a fun plant. Um, these can grow to be absolutely massive. If you're in a tropical climate, you can grow them in the ground and they just become humongous. Here's another dragon's tooth alocasia. Oh, and these alocasia stingray are $10.99. Oh, no, $19.99. Here's some aglionema white rain. This is a type of plant that I would love to learn more about. $9.99. Might do some research on the different varieties because I don't know which ones are common and uncommon, but they're very beautiful. This one is aglionema favonian, $9.99. Then up here we have a few more interesting plants and hoyas. Some more of the variegated um, albo syngoniums, $50. This one is Hoya Chicken Farm, $75. Look how beautiful this hoya is. Absolutely massive leaves. You can see this one is a bit sun stressed. Really interesting. I was eyeing the ones over here as well. This one is a Hoya Finlaysonii. It almost looks similar to a Callistophylla. Now, I really am kind of getting into these Hoyas that have the, the veining on the leaves. And this is huge. I mean, look how massive this Hoya is. Also, I will say off the bat, this one really caught my eye. Um, this type of Hoya and this Hoya are the same. This one just has some sun stressing, as you can see. And this is a Latifolia. It's $60. So the Latifolia is $60. Finlay, Finlay Sony Eye is 50 and then the chicken farm is 75. I have to admit I'm really torn. I don't know what to get. <laughs> oh, I do think I will probably end up having to get this one. Look at these leaves. And then this one is actually really tempting me as well. Hmm, tough, tough decision. This place is so wonderful. I absolutely love coming here. And all of the amazing houseplants and everything are in that greenhouse. But as you can see, there's all these other ones. And this one, ha it says it has begonias, but I spotted some caladiums. So I'm just gonna take a little peek in here. I have my, <laughs> I have my little wagon with me. Just wanted to take a peek and see what varieties they have and how much they are. So they're $5.95 for the Caladiums. That is insane. This one is really beautiful. This one is called Red Flash Fiesta. Sweetheart Caladium, Dots Delight. Tequila Sunrise. White Christmas. Lava Glow. Frog in a Blender, Autumn Beauty, Fantasy, White Queen. So this place is completely massive. And right now they have a lot of outdoor plants and herbs and veggies all mixed in. But I, if you come here, I really recommend taking your time and looking through because although most of these are outdoor kind of veggie plants, they do have Hoyas mixed in in these hanging baskets. They also have some snake plants over here mixed in. So it's always worth taking a peek. And these Hoya Crimson Princess or Crimson Queens are $17.95 in these huge baskets. I'm just gonna take a peek, kind of walk down, see what I can find. Burrow's tail here, $14.95. Hoya pubicalix, $14.95. Hoya australis, $14.95. And there's so many of them. They go all the way 
down there. They have these hanging baskets of cacti. They're called snowdrop cactus and they are $21.95. Then over here, this is Hoya Cunning, Cunning Hamia. Oh, that's neat. Okay, I love it. Maybe have to grab one of those. Then there's a lot of Hoya Macrophylla all down here, $24.95. Oh my goodness, look at all of this Hoya Australis. Lisa. All right, this is tempting. They're $24.95. They come in these really nice five, six inch planters and there's so much in there. I mean, these are so expensive in Charlotte and I do have a small, a small one of these, but I mean, it's tiny. That's tiny. Then next to the Australis Lisa, they have all this Hoya Chelsea. They're $19.95. And they go all the way down there. Amazing. Oh my gosh, they have Hoya Bella. These cute little baskets of them for $19.95. They have Hoya Croyana. This definitely is a splash variety. Look at this. I mean, these are impossible to find. And a huge basket of this for $21. That's insane. And they have them all the way down. Then they have Hoya Memoria Gracilis. Look how cute. Can't believe, I'm always so shocked by the plants they have here. It's amazing. Whoa, <laughs> this is like a house plant lover's dream. I cannot wait to go through here. <gasps> wow. There's some carnivorous plants and African violets. Wow. They also have a lot of Apiscia options, which are related to African violets. Look at all the different varieties that they have. They are $6.95, all of the different Apiscias. That one back there is flowering, little red flowers. Peperomia Hope, $12.95. <gasps> what the what? What the what? What is this all of a sudden that they have here? Anthurium clarinervium's 150. Dang, I had no idea they had a, these types of plants here. Anthurium forgetii is $70. Oh my god, look at that beauty. <gasps> wow. Oh, and it has lots of new glow. I already have one. I don't know what else I'm gonna find, so that's a maybe. But dang, $70 for a forgetty eye? Is that the market right now for those? Because I paid so much for mine. Some alocasia, $5.95 for these. Then there's some Hilo Beauties, three and a half inch po um, pots, $4.95. Again, that's a great deal, but I would recommend with these types of plants to maybe get ones that have established root systems if you can. Um, but, it, you know, sometimes the budget doesn't allow for a big plant and it's so nice to have the option for smaller ones. Look at these $10 Alocasia Black Nebula. Alocasia Ninja. Look how velvety. Oh my gosh. Look at this alocasia. Oh, I wish it was a big boy. $8.95. Oh gosh. Look how pretty it is. I thought it was a black velvet at first. All right. I may have to do a ninja. Look at that. $8.95. Flipping can't believe it. Alocasia sinuata, $8.95. I mean, these are like a rare, hard to find varieties in this area. I'm just amazed. Here's some bigger sinuatas. There's black nebula over there. Let's see if I can find a big ninja because that ninja was calling my name. These are black velvets, $4.95. <gasps> Holy cow. Oh, I see so many plants. 
This happens to me every time I come here. Silver Dragon 995, Alocasia Azelanii. Oh, they're so small though. $45, oh my gosh. I wonder if I could keep it alive. Oh, this is a wishless plant. I wonder if they have bigger ones. Oh, I saw this one at the International the Tropical Plant Expo. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a maybe. Over budget, but worth it. <laughs> This is insane. Some larger silver dragons, $17.95. I mean, there's just all sorts just mixed in here. Oh, they have pipers. Oh, okay. So, so it looks like there's some Frydeck there. I'm just going slowly. Oh, flying, or uh, flying squid, Alocasia. Maybe a Maharani back there? What is that one? Is that a black velvet or is that a ninja? Black velvet. Oh my gosh. I'm flipping out. Oh, they have Piper Crocatum. Nice. $24.95. Oh, such a great deal. These plants are hard to ship, so if you can find them in person, I do recommend doing that. They have so many peperomias. Peperomia Amigo Marcello, Marcello, $12.95. Peperomia Pepper Spot. Also, they have Codanthe De Devociana. I've only ever seen this once and it was at a big box shop. It's such a fun plant. Really thick, succulent-like leaves, very fuzzy. They have them here for $12.95. Again, all of these alocasia. I'm totally blown away. Um, by the varieties they have here. Insane. Then they have some lipstick plants. They have assorted, assorted ones. Some more peperomias. Begonia Red Ruby, $13.95. And Polynesian Ivy, $6.95. And they just have lipstick plant varieties everywhere. Peperomia and canna. Oh, this is an interesting one I haven't seen before. Look at these fuzzy peperomia leaves. Okay. Ooh, that is really tempting, guys. Peperomia funky frog. Peperomia isabella. Peperomia scandens variegata. Then they have Aglionema varieties, Aglionema Lucky Red. ZZ Plants, they have ZZ Raven, $14.95. Regular ZZs, they have a lot of different types of snake plants, which is exciting. I do see whale fins and variegated whale fins. The variegated whale fins are 70. Look at all these snake plants. Amazing. All these bromeliads here. And then cryptanthus. All these beautiful Rex begonias. Absolutely stunning. Pixie Lime, some more Peperomias. Again, they just have like unlimited varieties of these plants. Red Log, Citrus Twist, Metallica, String of Turtles, Peperomia Hope, Columnia. I got my uh, Columnia. Peperomia from here. It's such a neat plant, right? $9.95. Peperomia Jitterbug. Radiance. Oh, I love them. 
Funky frog. That one's really neat. Pink marble. Oh. Well, we all know we love the pink lady, so that's kind of tempting. A pink marble. Peperomia Quito, some different ripple Peperomia varieties, watermelon, Peperomia. Okay, they have a lot of jewel orchids as well. $9.95 for these pots of jewel orchids. They also have the one that's everyone's favorite, the Makotis jewel orchid with the lightning bolts, $15.95. Then they have the Red Lightning Makotis, $23.95. And then the Sea Turtle Lakotis Jewel Orchid, $6.95. And then look at these different Phalaenopsis, $29.95. All right, taking a peek. They have two inch Hoyas and they're all $5.95, guys. And they have so many different kinds, Gracilis, Macrophylla, Linearis, Curtisii. Amazing, and I mean, some of them are really big for six, six bucks. Dang. Then we have Lacanosa here, $15.95. They're four inch, and then Hoya Australis, four inch is 15. Hoya Australis Lisa, and then also Hoya Australis. Wyetii variegated $19.95. Hoya obovata $14.95. Hoya Hushliana variegata $69.95. Look at these guys. <gasps> then we have crow. Ooh, what is this kind of Hoya? The purple Hoya. Are you a Hoya? Hoya sigillatus. How much? 62. We have some fancy plants here. Oh my god, they have Polyneura? What is this? Matilde? <coughs> clear my throat. Let me clear my throat. That's such a neat Hoya. And then this one is so pretty as well. Look at those sun stressed leaves. $29.95. Hoya spit. Just kidding. Hoya sip it. I'll take it. That's a neat one. Whew. I'm sweating. Hot in here. All right. Got some Hoya carry eyes here. 35. Then we have these really cute Hoya Matilde. And the Matildes are $34.95. Hoya Callistophylla, 44. Then we have Hoya Croyana Black. How much is the black? $50. Hoya Polyneura Fishtail, very fast growing, $29.95. Come get it. Dang, these are the price I paid for mine. <laughs> wow, the prices are good. Curtisii, $15.95. You've got some Hoya Bella here, $14.95. Everything looks super healthy down here as well. Like, really nice. Um, Hoya Rosita, $19. Oh my God, they have variegated Hindu rope. Variegated Hindu rope. I had to order mine online. I've never seen it around here. $20. Oh my god. If they have a big one of those. <gasps> what are those? Varicosum? What's over here? Oh, okay. So, um, okay. I'm gonna have to put this on Instagram. This is insane. Um... They have Eskimo, $19.95. Okay, I'm for sure getting this. Do you know this was a wishlist plant forever? And it was so expensive, I could never find it. They have Ovavada, Ovavada Barricada, 50. I'm just like speechless. Super Silver Eskimo, $20. Get out of here. Hoya Elliptica. 
Look at this little cutie. Oh my goodness. Ooh. This is insane. <clears throat> Philodendron Ring of Fire Gold. Rare. $49.95. Look at the color on this. Look at the varicosums, guys. Varicosum, $49.95. Oh my gosh, they have Warshawesii Aurea. I just um, put mine under a grow light and it's crushing life. Look how beautiful these are. $44.95. <gasps> by Penifolium Aurea 44 I had no idea I'm definitely going to post this on Instagram Eleven ninety five. okay coming into regular house plants I think Neon Pothos oh my gosh look Syngonium Pink Splash Oh my God, look how many plants are in here. 69, what is this? Skindapsis. Holy cow. Or Skindapsis, what am I saying? Syngonium. Red Arrow, 45. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, they have, um, <gasps> and look, it's already maturing. Zingonium elbow. Pink splash, small ones, $19.95. <gasps> I wonder what this white one is. Wow. Okay. I'm going, my battery's dying. Oh, look. Calathea yellow fusion. Oh my gosh. 29 There's so many plants still. Let me go over here. Oh, they have Shangri-La, Epipremnum Shangri-La, 29. And the leaves stay kind of closed up. Such a cool plant, look at that. What? Oh. Monstera Piniti Partita, 49. Philodendron Moonlight. Um. <laughs> You can see the fenestrations on the Piniti Partita. They have Fuzzy Petiole. Painted Lady, $24.95, the little tiny ones. Birkins, Imperial Reds. Black Cardinal, $4.95. Decursiva. Oh, wow, look at this Tradescantia. It looks like it's covered in cobwebs, but it's not. What variety is that? Scylla Montana Varigata. Whoa. That is so creepy, but like in the coolest way. Holy cow. You guys know I like those weird plants. <gasps> I cannot get enough. <gasps> they have Jungle Boogie, Red King, $4.95. Pink Princess. Look at the baby Pink Princess. I can't. $34.95. Look how many they have here. <gasps> Philodendron Campii. Adam. Xanadu, $4.95. Goldie, $4.95. <laughs> like, what is happening? Monstera, Peru. $29.95. Okay, it looks like these are, yeah, these are Florida Ghost. Philodendron Florida Mint, 149. They're labeled 103 though, so I don't know which one. But look, you can definitely see the mintiness. Squammy Ferrum, 39.95. Ooh, more Pink Princess. Four inch pots, 49. Look at them. Wow. I'm seeing a lot of pink princess for the first time out and about. That's pretty exciting. They've been so hard to get up until now. Painted ladies. I don't know what type of plant this is. 
Dead. Red Heart. Philodendron Red Heart. I don't know. Um, no, it just looks like that. That's the way the plant looks. Interesting. Silver Sword. The Red Heart is 45 and the Silver Sword is 27. Wow. What are, oh, Stan Leanna. 29. 29 for Monstera Stanleyana Albos. Serestus Mirabilis. Mirabilis. Look. Whew, I'm just blown away. Anthurium Radicans. Brantianum, 59. And look, they're already on moss poles. Aglaonema bamboo. I am just so blown away. Um, Thai sunrise. 103. Wow. Radicans, look at that. I was just told that I had the incorrect time and they close in 10 minutes. So I'm going to whip through the cacti and succulent section, which is outrageous. Um, they have euphorbia. Amazing Euphorbia. I mean, look at the big ones back there. $4.95. I mean, incredible. They have so many rare ones. Just potted, no roots. But look at these guys. Some more Euphorbia. Look at these. So fascinating. I go through Euphorbia Rainbow. I mean, so many cool ones. Look at these. Goodness. I mean, this whole thing is filled up with succulents and Hoyas. I'm so disappointed they're about to close. I thought I had more time. These are really rare and hard to come by. And look at these black ones. Black Rebutia, $6.95. Look at these, oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love them all. Then we have pine cone varieties, domino. These astrophytum. Astrophytum star cactus or not on. Wow. Variegated pharaoh. <gasps> they even have variegated pharaoh cactus. $9.95. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Little flowers there. Hoya Black Margins, $24.95. Hoya Linearis, look at this Hoya. Hush Kelliana. Look at these leaves. Crassula Spiralis. Variegated String of Pearls, $24. Hang now for the haul portion of the video. I do wish I would have had more time at Big Bloomers. There were so many amazing plants there and they came up to me and told me they were ready to close. So I didn't have time to really think about what I was getting. I just brought home what was already on my cart. I mean, I was so shocked at Big Bloomers and what they had. Gunter's is great, but I already knew that they had great stuff. But Big Bloomers blew me away, like hands down, incredible. So let me show you what I got from Gunter's first. Yeah, this one was $40 from Gunter's, um, Hoya Macrophylla Pot of Gold. And macrophylla typically have the variegation on the outsides of the leaves, but the pot of gold has it on the inside. Now, as I'm going through, please feel free to leave in the comments which plants you would have chosen and if you have any care suggestions for any of these plants. 
So Pot of Gold, absolutely amazing. I will say that I can tell that the leaves are a little bit longer um, and a little bit more pointy. So this is the next plant that I got from Gunters. It is a Hoya Finlaysonii. I spent $50 on this Hoya and look how massive and beautiful this is. Now you will see there is some marking on the leaves and I think on these ones it's okay, but you can see one of them, ah, yes, here. That could be a fungus. So it could be an, a number of things. I don't see any pests on this plant, but if it's some fungus, I can spray some maybe neem on there, or I could cut this leaf off, which is probably what I'll do. And I'm gonna rinse it off, just keep an eye on it. The good thing about this room is I always have a fan going, so there's always airflow, which helps prevent any kind of bacteria and fungus buildup. Now this is a really cool Hoya. Look at these leaves. It reminds me a little bit of a Callistophylla. And I'm really into the Hoyas that have like the cool veining on the leaves. I love the color, I love the shape. Um, the leaves are massive. I mean, look how big this one leaf is. It's almost the size of my head. Oh, looks like this one might have a little bit of, I'm not sure if it's spider mites or what. So I'll just treat it with some in insecticidal soap. All of these plants are gonna get pre-treated. Um, anytime I bring a plant home, I always wash them down and give them a good spray. Give them a spa day. I stole that from my friend at Cactus Club, Ivy. Um, but they get a little spa day, they get a little rinse off. Next up is this beautiful Hoya Latifolia. It was $60. It was the last plant that I got from Gunters. And how beautiful is it? The leaves are really big and heart-shaped. It has that veining that I'm interested in. And it's put out this runner, it's put out the first new leaves. So, so it should be starting to put out uh, over time some more leaves kind of on the stem here. This is the original big beautiful leaf. I'm obsessed, I love the heart shape of them. You know, it's very unique. You don't see Hoyas that have these like really huge leaves that often. And I'm obsessed with it. Again, share your care tips for these Hoyas. I actually have some more Hoyas to come that I picked up from Big Bloomers, so as, as well as other plants. So let's jump into what I got from Big Bloomers. The first plant that I picked up from Big Bloomers is this beautiful Hoya Crohiana Eskimo, Crohiana Eskimo. It was 1995, and I cannot believe they had this plant there for 1995. It has multiple growth points. I saw this plant once at Malone's. It was so expensive back in the day, and to see it for 1995 was such a pleasure. They come in all different colors, like there's black, and there's splash, and there's Eskimo. I've always wanted Eskimo. Like, so when I saw that, I totally flipped out. For get out of here look at the petite leaves and uh, it's obviously called Eskimo because of the white on the leaves now this Hoya is very thirsty I'm about to give it a drink because um, you can see there's some puckering on the leaves the next Hoya that I picked up from big bloomers is this amazing Hoya Hushkeliana now I actually have the variegated uh, one of these and when I saw this huge planter full it was $49.95 I just had to get it I love the shape of these leaves it's so unique they're very thick and succulenty you know in other places it's $50 for one little cutting of this to get the whole plant for $50 amazing I'm just gonna keep it going because I still have a lot more plants to cover next up is Alocasia Ninja Look at this guy, you can tell he's thirsty because his little leaves are curling inwards. So I'm gonna give him a little drink. But this is a beautiful, beautiful alocasia. It has two growth points on there. Now I don't know if you can tell, but the leaves are actually very shimmery. Now I was looking online and the Ninja is very similar to the alocasia black velvet. The leaves are a little bit differently shaped. And to me, I don't know if it's just this one, but the leaves have a lot more shimmer on the veining of the leaves um, compared to the Alocasia Black Velvet. The Black Velvet doesn't have as much shimmery shine as these. Now the problem with getting the small Alocasias is they're much, much more at risk of dying. Um, they're much harder to keep alive because they're not established in their root systems and it can be touch and go. So for $8.95, I thought it was okay 
However, I did end up getting this Alocasia, which is the Aslani Eye. I couldn't believe it was $45. Now these types of Alocasia, like these, the Black Velvet, the Dragon Scale, they're varieties of jewel Alocasia, which is really fun to collect the jewel Alocasias. This is a beautiful, beautiful one. I'll put a picture of what it can look like here. I chose this one because it looks really healthy. It does have a new growth point here. So I'm gonna keep these in an area where I can keep a close eye on them because with these plants, you don't really want to risk underwatering, overwatering the whole thing. So I'm excited about these little guys. Now I also picked up this really cool Peperomia. I had never seen one like this before and I don't know if it's gonna look like anything that interesting on camera but the leaves are heart-shaped and they're very fuzzy kind of like lamb's ear i don't know if you guys know that plant this pepperoni is so cool and it even has the soft kind of fuzziness on the stems just really unique i also picked up this gorgeous caladium i love the red stems i love the colors of the leaves I mean, very easy care, can't go wrong. Look at all of the little um, plants there are in this. This one was $5, I think. Yeah, Big Bloomers had a lot of caladiums. They were really, really reasonably priced. So I did pick up a couple cacti, even though I had to scoot out of there before I could finish looking. I did pick up this beautiful Euphorbia. I couldn't believe how big it is. Now they had a lot of Euphorbia varieties there. I didn't have a chance to like look through them all, but this one was really cool. It takes a long time for them to grow this big. Um, so I did pick up this and I also found this Astrophytum. This Astrophytum Ornatum. You guys know I love some Astrophytum. There's so many varieties of Astrophytum. I just wanna collect every single one because they're so, so neat. Look at it from the top. Like they have a spiral. Um, there's so many, so many, so many different species and varieties of this type of plant. I liked that this one had interesting shape and then it has these like amazing spines on them. And then it has the beautiful, like these are also spines, but they're not prickly. It, it's more just decorative on that plant. So there you have it. There's my over budget, but worth it haul. Now don't forget to let me know which plants you would have chosen today if you would have been plant shopping with me. I always love, love hearing your feedback. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you want to see more plant shopping videos and plant care videos, make sure to subscribe so episodes will show up in your newsfeed. And give us a follow on Instagram as well. We have an amazing plant community. And lastly, huge, huge thank you again to Birch Living for sponsoring this episode. You can click the link below or go to birchliving.com slash plantlife to get $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. All right, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.